Okay folks, I've done a whole load of sanding, about a half hour of sanding. I've got some of this up, but in bringing it up I have uncovered yet more of a problem. You may see some liquid here. Uh, we follow the trail of the liquid up to this hole. We have through hull osmosis folks in several spots. These were just two conspicuous bumps, which I thought were just bad layup, and of course they were bad layup. And the bad layup has led to the osmosis. I've got a nice convenient sharp thing here, but this is, all of this is gonna have to be, oh, there you go. See that? Now what you have to do is to remove the rotten glass and wash it through. The problem is the acid spreads. As you can see there's a real puddle of it here. And I haven't even begun to really have a proper look. Yeah, there we go, there's more. This line along here I suspect is where the original stringer was. Sanding out has begun down to the point where there ain't no more crunching and the glass appears to be dry so she's done an absolutely wonderful job there. She's just starting on the second one um, and it's basically poke it with something sharp and if it oozes or crunches take it back a little bit further that's nowhere near as deep or as wide as I thought it was going to end up being. I'm really pleased. So, lovely wifey with her kinky suit and her sexy, uh, sexy muffs on, earmuffs on, and her incredible mains powered toy has done a fantastic job of delivering satisfaction with our little hole problem. <laughs> But wifey has done yet more sanding and checking and poking and sniffing about the blister that we the thing that i thought was a blister turned out it was just a big blob of resin um, the two weepy bits have been completely cleaned out to good glass so that's wonderful so here's where we're grinding today i'm going to take it back level it to the edge of the black outline that I've just roughly drawn in and um, lay some glass up make it nice and smooth and flat and strong I reckon I want to put three four five layers in to fill the void and then a nice big uh, patch across um, and then start on the other side and fill those two blisters in. This new layup is now curing. No tack, which is nice. And I'm gonna give it another 20 minutes, half an hour, uh, just to see how it settles in. The osmosis holes aren't setting up quite as quickly, but I didn't put as much accelerant in those, so that's fine. The layup looks good, but they all need knocking back to the edge so that uh, we get towards a flat surface and then I will be mixing up some uh, colloidal silica to fill that in and make good. And the same on those when they're set up. So here we are, mid layup. Uh, I put too much accelerant in the first one and the sun came in and it warmed up and it set rock solid quite quickly so I made another batch. The uh, it's four layers on the blisters, five layers on the string line and they're both going to need, once they've set up properly, they're going to need knocking back and uh, filling dust everywhere okay this is now cleaned up and ready to fill those are half cleaned up and they'll be ready to fill by the time I finish this one 
not quite cured, they weren't quite cured so I couldn't sand them all the way back. Uh, but that is looking pretty reasonable. Done a lot of sanding and glassing today. We've done this section of the, the inside of the hull. A few bits of osmosis which were ground out and tidied up and I've just glassed them in with about oh, nine or ten layers of glass. So they're now beautifully flat and um, they can be sanded in tomorrow once they've set up properly. Really, really pleased with it. But that's uh, that little section there, which is about, uh, I'm gonna say a ninth or maybe even a tenth of the area that we've got to do. That was four and a half hours of sanding. More grinding inside. So now I've just got under the wood and down there to do. And I've finally got a layer of uh, structured glass down. Um, which I'm so pleased about, I can't even begin to tell you. You can just about see in the light there, you can see the, the weave of the glass that's gone down. Here we have bulkheads and a centre line stringer. Finally resined in. I'm sure it will need some retouching and finessing and adjusting and all sorts. But by God we've made it at last.